So to understand what's going on, let's take a careful look at Python objects. You see, as a Python programmer, you must represent everything that is interesting about the problem that you're trying to solve as a Python object. But what we will see is every Python object will have to make certain approximations. So we say that a Python object is an abstraction. An abstraction hides or approximates some real world features. Now as Python programmers, we must make sure that the features that we are hiding or approximating are not critical uh, to the problem at hand. As we shall see, this is not always an easy decision. So in Python, when we have the floating point value 0.1, we have already seen that that is an approximation of the mathematical quantity 1 by 10. And because it's an approximation, it does not obey mathematical properties uh, that we are familiar with. Let's now take a closer look at different types of Python objects. So far, we have only seen two types of objects, integers and floats. So the Python object 312, for example, is of type int. In the Python REPL, we can give this uh, command calling the built-in type function and we can say what is the type of this object and it will say that object belongs to the class of objects int. So 312 is an int object. Now we can give the type function not just a concrete object but we can give it for example an expression and that expression will be evaluated as an object and then we will ask well, what is the type of that object? Following the uh, rules of uh, Python, we know that uh, star and floor division are evaluated at the same level of priority, which means this expression will be evaluated left to right. We will first multiply the integer 3 with the integer 1, resulting, of course, in the integer 3. Then we will take that integer 3 and do floor division uh, with 2 to give us an integer, namely the integer 1. So once again, if we ask in the REPL what is the type of this expression, it will again say it's of class int. It's important to remember that type is not associated with an expression. The expression is first evaluated to result in a single object. And then we're asking the type function, hey, what is the type of this object? And again, it tells us this is an object of that class called int. Now, in contrast, if we said what is the type of 1.5 or the type of this expression, again, this expression will first be evaluated once again left to right. So 3 times 1 is the integer 3. And when we take the integer 3 and do true division with the integer 2, that results in the float 1.5. And so when we ask in the REPL, what is the type of this expression? Again, it will first evaluate the object 1.5, which is of type float.